Hi, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about another specialty LED. Uh, one of the last videos I made, I talked about a tricolor LED and a bumper uh, that was using it. And I had it specifically in, uh, in mind to use this on a programming track. So in the meantime, I've been trying to find a very simple, easy way to implement it with a circuit. And I think I found that. So I'll be describing how to do that and I'll show you the circuit and how it works. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is the circuit I came up with. Uh, first, I want to mention the switch. It is a three pole double throw switch, which means it's three circuits and you can throw it either way. But it also has a center off, in which case it's not connected to any of the circuits. And this is the, the uh, switch here. I will put a link in the description uh, where it where it is on uh, Amazon I got up I got this for about uh, 10 bucks for four of them so as far as the circuit goes there's a 12 volt circuit uh, here that goes through a 1k resistor then it goes through a Zener diode it's 3.9 volts and then to the red LED in the tri color LED that we're using so that means this voltage here which is important the voltage drop at this point will be 3.9 plus approximately 2 or 5.9 volts. So now, um, so and this red would indicate that uh, the, the circuit is dead. So th this set of contacts just controls the LEDs. The other two control how the track is connected. So let's say we throw the switch this way and now these contacts are closed in this direction. For the LED, that means that there'll be 12 volts through a 1K resistor going to the green LED inside the tricolor LED. And that will turn the green LED on. However, because the uh, green LED has a, a, a lower voltage than 5.9 volts, it'll basically um, short out the red LED. So the red LED will go out and the green LED will come on. Likewise, if the, if the switch is thrown the other way, the blue LED will come on and the blue LED voltage across it is much lower than what is needed, the 5.9 volts, to light up this LED. It'll short out this LED and there won't be enough voltage for it to, to light. So at the same time, this, these sets of contacts control the LEDs. These sets of contacts control how the programming track is connected. In this situation, the programming track is connected to the main line terminals of the command station, along with the rest of the tracks. If the switch is in the other position, the programming track would be connected to the command station programming track terminals. So the way I've <clears throat> thought about this is blue means that the programming track is active for programming. The red means it's disconnected from everything. And the green means it's connected to the main line. So let's go over to the lab and take a look at the breadboard I have made up of this. Okay, this is the breadboard version of the circuit I just showed you uh, with the switch. And with the switch in the center position, in other words, nothing connected, the uh, switch not connecting anything, uh, the LED is red. Flip it one way, it's blue. That would be the programming track active. And this way is the programming track connected to the um, to the main line or normal layout, and that's the green section. So it seems like it works pretty pretty well. Um, I made one of these bumpers up. Um, hopefully you can see that there. Let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> and what it took was a uh, three sixteenths drill. I drilled a, a hole in the bumper and just stuck this in and then I'm going to wire it up to the programming track uh, and it fits in there pretty good like that and that'll uh, that'll take care of that so that's it for this video thanks for watching and please like and subscribe Thanks very much and see you in the next video.